So guys, today I'm back with Adult Flash ES5 and today I'll just show you how to make a basic manga high and at the same time I'll show you how to make it animable with the usage of mask layers. So, no, not mask slayers, mask, mask layer. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's pretty uh, one of my favorite jokes, just kidding. Yeah, that's not funny at all, but I'm just saying it. So that's not complicated. Uh, I'm just using a mouse, optical mouse, and without the usage of a graphic tablet. So that's not that hard. But the first time you try to you try to do that, you need to be like you need to f it's not that comf comfortable that when you're using a pencil so I think I got a nice shape for the moment I'll just fix it so now I'm drawing pretty much drawing the highlight the manga highlights and yeah that's pretty much that I'm trying to find the best shape as I can so I can show you guys quali a quality video and you could learn from that and thank me yeah so I think I'm finished with that so I am just add the black color and no it's not that much finish um, As you can see, that's pretty much complicated. But once you do that a lot of time, like you'll be able to do it fast. So I'm pretty much finished with this part. After what you need to do is that you need to add two random lines like that. Like I'll explain the letters what is the role of those lines. So you try to shape it the way the high is pretty much shape um, maybe let's say like that we'll do it like that um, yeah I think that's fine and after you add the white color to like you know guys we don't have black eyes we it's what pretty much white so yeah that's all and as you can notice like after that we got that white part which is called in the anatomy language is Clara if you're learning something from that so that's pretty much it I'll try to fix the other parts because that's not that perfect as I wanted but I think for a tutorial, a tutorial it's pretty much okay. Yeah. Okay. So after that, what you wanna do is that you need to add two other layers. So it's in French we call it calc, but in English like y you want the real word. So you got a layer. You will have a, a layer for the eyelashes and eyelid I'll just simply uh, call it eyelashes after that you need a layer for the pupil and the iris after that you'll need a layer for the white part so that's pretty much that so I'll simply merge all the parts so I'll take the white part so in order you got the white part the which is the sclera, the pupil and the iris that I called in this layer simply pupil and the eyelashes. So yeah, you just have to copy after you like you delete this part just simply press delete on your keyboard after you go to the white part after you paste in place 
after what you do is that you simply go to the eyelashes again take so notice that sorry I'll simply lock this part so notice that the white part is gone from there and it's only in air here and after we'll simply do a basic pupil I'll just simply make a circle and after I'll add simply modifications as you can see we can't see it because of the white part over it but if I'm like okay I'm not showing it like it it will do that so um, what I, I what else sorry I'm just going to pick up that random thing and try to yeah simply shape it like a manga uh, notice that it's not a tutorial for how to drive pupil it's just to dry the shape of a high sorry so that's pretty much that so after that you did the eyelashes you did the pu your pupil and the white part that I added so once you finish that you right click on the well, white layer sorry you make this mask layer you click on the mask layer whatever it it's called in English. I know that in French it's simply called mask, but yeah, you know. So as you can see, like we have all the parts here, and if like your iris is a little more big, you could see that. Like I'm, I will change shape it more big. Sorry, guys. Um. Yeah, so I'll try to okay more big, not realistic, but more big. You get it. Mm. So I'm putting over it. And after I put all the layers, what it does, it that's it simply I'll yeah I'll forget to explain what is a mask layer so simply basically mask layer I'll, I'll use sorry to make a, if I can say a cutout effect is using any shapes and the shape in there is that white part that I deci decide to make and that's pretty much that um, so you see what we can do with a mask layer and now I'm going to animate it and at the same time prove it that it's perfectly animable so I take a pu a, the pupil pupil sorry I have some difficulties with the pronunciation of some words so I'll go with 25 frames so I'll simply add a keyframe so I'm just translating Sorry, I'm just translating. Um, sorry, I got a sore throat, so that's why I'm talking like that, and I've dif dif some difficulty. So I s I'll simply add a keyframe at 25, because I'm at 24 frame by second, and I'll just move it from. Let's see. Mm, I'm not this. I didn't decide yet. So yeah, um, it's here. So I simply move it. F I take all the part. I simply move it from here. From here to here. Sorry, bad English again. So after that, I'll decide to add simply uh, what we call we call it in French clean interpolation classique, but in English we just called it the classic classic motion twin I think I think so that's very much that that's all I can tell about it so what it will do is that it will simply move gradually the pupil so you can see that uh, to make uh, okay so we'll have again 24 frame so add a keyframe again 
you know that we get to add a keyframe I just a, a keyframe here sorry just add a, a, a frame a simple and simple and simple a sample frame sorry and after like you just go to the pupil layer and after that you just add um, again interpolation classic which is do you remember what it is it's create um, um sorry um classic twin and after sorry why I'm here well so I think that the thing messed up so I'm just going to press ctrl z and redo it again so I'll move it back from here and after I'll add again the interpolation classic sorry guys this is I'm just I guess I'm not lo losing you so, so it simply go back and after the white part you put the to the frame one so the so basically the animation is to the frame one to the frame five so you simply add a frame and you lock all this stuff so I'll try to show you what it does basically um, yeah so le right left and as you can see you don't see all the what I call again glitches and I've finally find the word it's imperfections so it's all perfect and it's all good so hope you enjoyed that little tutorial was like turnover like 12 minutes and like if you really like that video just thumbs up or even add comments if you have some comments and what else like subscribe if you want because I really need some, the help of you guys so I can continue to improve my English at the same time of making super awesome videos. Bye!